Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to today's video. So today we have to bring June, my mare, who's had like an eye issue for the past like month. Um, she has basically a stromal ulcer abscess, something like that in her eye that we've been treating for over a month now, many different medications, antibiotics, pain medicines, so many different things, weekly vet visits, three different vet opinions on it. And today we are finally taking her to an ophthalmologist um, about two and a half hours on the other coast from where I live. And she is going to possibly be getting a procedure on her eye to hopefully get this moving along faster. It is technically classified as like a fungal infection. So it's a lengthy, lengthy recovery, months on end of constant six times a day treatment topical in her eye. Um, and by doing this procedure, hopefully we can cut that time of recovery down to weeks rather than months. So fingers crossed that that works out because we've been treating it for a while now. She has her fly mask on that I just put on her because we are getting ready to load her up to take her now two and a half hours to the ophthalmologist at um, this vet that we're going to. So if you guys are excited for today's video, if you guys are interested, excited to see June's procedure and wish us some good luck on this, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance my post notification shout out. All right, you guys, let's get this horse in the trailer and over to the vet. So am I seeing the trailer hooked up, but this is what June's eye currently looks like. It's still decently cloudy. We've been really working on it. We've wanted so many different medicines, but we think it's time to go bring her on the other coast to Palm Beach Equine Clinic to have a little procedure in there um, to try to get this healing up faster. They did say it's probably gonna take a really long time for it to fully heal, but we're doing our best efforts to try to make it heal fast. So it's actually looking pretty good today. Hi, baby. But I'm going to go ahead and put this fly mask on her. Um, this is like an extra UV one because we put a medicine on her eye that opens up like her retina. Does that make sense? Is that what it is? I can't remember now. Now that I just said it. Um, so that she's not constantly just like squeezing it shut because it's in pain. But she's been on pain medicine every day for many weeks now. So we have to put the UV mask on and we're getting her ready. Our drive is about two and a half hours. Let's get your fly mask on. Look how cute this poncho is. Ram Horse Fencing Installs, who have graciously helped me build this barn, sent this to me as a Christmas gift, and it's so, so cute. You guys, I love it. They're such a good company, such good people. Um, not sponsored or anything like that. But of course, if you guys need anything for your barn, fencing, stalls, anything like that, make sure you go check them out. It's just Ram Horse Fencing and Stalls. Their link will be in the description always down below. But these guys are in the back. I don't know if I've told you guys yet or not, but I have Cash, Louie, and Blaze, the donkey and the goats out on pasture during the day. And I have Trigger and Miss Junie in the barn during the day. But... <laughs> These are like my, uh, what should I call them? My hospital patients. This one with her eye issues and he had an abscess on his front foot that I was treating with Epsom salt and a bunch of stuff, which he's recovered. And then he got hurt again, literally, when his abscess was just recovering, he got caught up in something. So right now, that's what it looks like. I have a bunch of antibiotics on it, creams and silver spray so that, you know, and bugs and stuff stay out of it so he's also on pain management for that it's a bit swollen but the swelling has gone down a lot but yeah so these are my hospital patients is what i like to call them they're in the hospital this patient stays today he's in good recovery mode this patient right now is getting her halter and lead rope on and mike is going to take our hospital patient <laughs> he's loading june into the ambulance the dirty ambulance and then we're gonna throw some hay in here for her because it is a decent drive so she'll have some food on the way Junie, we come bearing gifts. <laughs> Yay! She's like, ooh, yum. There she goes. So now she'll be happy on this trip over. Okay, you guys, so where did we leave off? I believe that I was loading June into the trailer to get her over to the other coast for her eye procedure. Look at the fog behind me. 
and basically that appointment came to a halt when we got halfway there and if you live in florida you'll well at least where i live the traffic is so so bad these days after the hurricane and things like that and we have a lot of like the tourists coming down so anyways long story short the traffic was so incredibly bad and our eta just kept getting farther and farther away um so we called the vet's office when we were about halfway there just let them know like because it is about two and a half hours away from me um the the vet clinic that we have to go to and we were going to be 30 minutes for the appointment so basically the ophthalmologist wasn't going to really be able to see us if we had come that late so we had to reschedule it continue to treat the eye till today so it was looking fine but within the last day and the vet is aware the eye has kind of taken even more of a turn for the worse so we're like up super early right now it's like 7 30 i don't should i say super early but we have to get her there by 11 so we are about to leave i prepped everything the night before she has hay in the trailer we're getting everybody their grain i'm gonna do one last dose of imed in her and we're gonna head out so we're here this is the facility and we're getting june out now hi junie b Some relief for your little eye. Going in. Look how cute it is in this office. That's an added bonus. Good dog. We are walking over here. So what her body's doing is she's growing these red blood vessels into the corneas. 
So the red blood vessels grow in from the white part of the eye, and they usually move in about a millimeter a day. As they kind of creep in towards that area. Those blood vessels, in effect, will bring in antibodies and things that enter our body systemically that will clean that area out. So the red is not bad. The red is a good thing. That's your body kind of oh, okay. marching towards the area to try to uh, get it cleared out. The concern with these abscesses is, is that they can sometimes spread. So even though you have blood vessels coming in, sometimes they'll keep going the other way. And so the abscess can continue to spread even though the blood vessels are going in. Right. Sometimes the abscess can actually rupture into the eye. So it can go deeper. They rupture into the eye, they lose the eye. Yeah. So what I tell people is 20% of horses that get these, they leave their eye yeah. from the infection. Yeah. So it's not it's not a good thing for them to have. Yeah. They can end up pretty devastating consequences. So she's about to get um, like a little procedure in her eye. They're gonna put her in a surgery room and they're gonna do like an injection in her eye and that's what we're gonna start with. She's sleepy right now. Sleepy girl. They've numbed her eye. I may have one of y'all do okay. if you don't mind. Okay, let me do it. I'm going to grab you and have you grab his ear. You mind if I do it from that side? Yeah, okay. on that side, and because it tilts his head and it'll make his eyeball roll up. Is this good enough? Uh, or you tell me if I need to pull more. You're doing great right there. Great. Cool. All right, Walk, 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 walk. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And when I get it, it's going to make it turn really white, so don't worry. <laughs> Three total. That one down. <laughs> Here to go. All right, her procedure is done. I'll give you more specifics here soon, but <laughs> she's starting to, let's call it, wake up a little bit. So we're walking her around before we put her back on the trailer to go for another long drive. But she's just, you know, she's a very resilient horse, I will say. So we're back in the car, making our trek back, um, let's see, west, I should say, um, back home. And when, I said that her eye had actually taken a turn for the worst. I was incorrect, which I thought it was the worst, but the doctor actually informed me that the red in her eye now is actually saying that like her body is really trying to fight um, that infection off. So it's 
an abscess. And when we do topical treatment, it's not always like penetrating all the way through. So we got her injections into her eye of that medicine that we've been putting topically, but right into her cornea so that it actually penetrates the infection. But the red is actually a good thing. It's all the blood vessels trying to attack that infection. So fingers crossed this works. There was three options. One was treating it like we were topically, just a lot more, but we didn't really think that was like a good option because we've been doing this for over a month now and we wanted to you know, do more progress with her because it's very painful for her. Two was the option that we chose, which was getting the injections in her eye and continue with topical. The injection lasts about a week, a week and a half, and then we will recheck and if she needs another one, she'll get another one. And then the third option was surgery and basically they go in and they take out the infection and she had said there's a 99% success rate with that. So we were, you know, maybe considering that, but one, it's like super duper expensive. And two, since that red is actually happening now and showing that the eye is trying to heal, then we decided that we would go with option number two and do the injection and continue to treat it because obviously the way that we've been treating it is technically working. It's just a very long process with these type of injuries or eye issues, let's just say. So now that we are having this injection done, it should shorten the time that it will heal. So we will continue to treat topically, like I was saying, continue with Banamine, which is for pain reliever. We added another medication, which is almost like an aspirin, but it's like topically and that'll go in her eye as well. So hopefully that we don't have to get to the point of surgery. We're gonna see if this works. Um, and go from there. But there is still a possibility that she could lose her eye, but it is a small possibility. It's only 20% um, of horses in these type of cases that lose their eye. So with the red showing though, that's showing that the body is trying to heal that eye. So we're hoping that we fall in the 80% and not losing her eye. Um, but there is that 20% that the doctor said, we're not out of the woods yet. Um, we're gonna try for another week. Obviously, we would go the route of doing the surgery before losing the eye. So, yeah, that's where we're at. So, we're just hoping that doesn't progressively get bad, like, really quickly, where the only option is losing the eye. But I don't think it is so far. So, we're headed back home now. This was quite the drive. The procedure was about 45 minutes all in total. And now we drive two hours back. So, it's pretty late at night. She's eating her hay. We gave her banamine, we gave her three medicines, which is the verconazole, which is what she basically got the injection of. We're still doing topical. Then basically a topical aspirin and also another medicine called atropine. And that's the medicine that opens up the retina. But she's really uncomfortable right now. She wants to rub this eye on everything, just her movements and such. Like she must be feeling the effects of the, obviously the shot. <laughs> The pain of it because she almost seems a little bit like she's panicking a little bit because she can't relieve the pain but it hasn't even been 24 hours see you guys can tell she's just like really just keeps opening or well like picking her head up and dropping it down i think she's trying to do anything that she can for some relief i feel really bad but obviously it just needs to run its course at this point but she is opening it now after we gave her more medicine in it so hopefully that works but it's definitely bothering her. I hope she can get some good rest now that we gave her pain medicine. The pain medicine usually relieves her pretty well, but look, that's what she's doing in her water. She's just doing anything that I think to distract herself, and I don't know, I'm sure she's in pain, but hopefully this Banamine kicks in quick and she starts to feel better. Like I was saying, the Banamine really does help her really well, so she's drinking water at least. But see, she's opening her eye. Oh, that's the poor girl. So, ugh. I feel so bad for her. Can you imagine that happening to your eye? Ugh. Well, she's gonna stay in tonight. All the horses are staying in tonight. It's actually really cold out. Poor girl, I feel so bad for her. Hopefully she can get some good rest. Aw.